Ghost Leviathans are Subnautica's ultimate paranormal companion. Just like that demon living under your bed, Ghost Leviathans will follow you to the end of the world, hiding in all the dark spots that are just out of sight, but never quite out of mind. Ghost Leviathans start their life in their nesting ground at the giant cove tree in the Lost River. While you might have thought that these nice blue and purple glowing bulbs were simply a fruit or a seed of the tree, you might be surprised to know that these are actually Ghost Leviathan eggs. The eggs themselves were laid when the tree was young, and as it has grown, its branches have formed around them, acting as a shield and a form of protection. And it's also possible that the cove tree itself is giving nutrients to the eggs and helps them to grow. Each egg consists of a transparent blue coloured membrane and a glowing blue embryo, with the egg containing a fluid with all the nutrients the egg needs in order to produce a healthy juvenile. Ghost leviathan eggs seem to grow in size after they have left the body, as they are much too large for a ghost leviathan to actually lay. While the number of orbs inside the membrane suggests that each egg may contain multiple ghost leviathans which are released when the egg hatches. The newly born ghost leviathans have a soft bioluminescent and transparent outer membrane, which covers a blue muscular inner body, which is covered in blue stripes of a darker colour. This long and thin internal body slims to a point and is covered in bioluminescent orange stripes and glowing spots, indicating that the ghost leviathan is adapted to deep sea and low light environments. As ghost leviathans move through the water, they leave glowing trails behind them, which further highlights their ghostly appearance. The ghost leviathan has 12 bright eyes along with six fins on its torso and one large fin on its head, with the creature's iconic look being completed by two long structures made of cartilage which are used to protect the leviathan's skull when ramming its prey. At the start of their life cycle, ghost leviathan juveniles live in the Lost River and feed on ghost rays, river prowlers and possibly other smaller ghost leviathans in order to survive. When threatened or hunting, ghost leviathans can tense and coil up their bodies before lunging forward at incredible speeds to bite and ram their prey using their powerful rectangular shaped mouths to tear chunks out of anything in range. Ghost Leviathans are extremely aggressive and territorial and will attack both human and native 4546B inhabitants without mercy. Although, luckily for us, Ghost Leviathan attacks on humans do not seem to be for food. They're just incredibly antisocial and want you to stay out of their territory. If you do have the misfortune of running into a Ghost Leviathan, they will deal 84 damage to a human with a single bite. So it's recommended that you remain inside your vehicle if you have one, as this will offer you some protection against its powerful jaws. Juveniles are slightly less dangerous, dealing 34.5% less damage than adults, but they still pack a serious punch. The Lost River won't remain the Ghost Leviathan's home for long though, as Ghost Leviathans seem to grow constantly throughout their lives. As they grow, they become too big for their Lost River home, forcing them to migrate out into the crater in order to become larger. When out in the open crater, Ghost Leviathans seem to prefer hunting within the Grand Reef and the Blood Kelp Zone, feeding on ampeels, crab squids, entire shoals of fish, and possibly even sea treader leviathans. At this stage of their life cycle, adult ghost leviathans are Subnautica's second largest aggressive creature, and are large enough to push, drag, or even overturn a cyclops submarine. But eventually, these ghost leviathans will even outgrow the crater as a sustainable home, forcing them to migrate to the crater's edge and the void, where they likely feed on microscopic life forms that inhabit the water around the crater's edge in order to sustain their massive bodies. Ghost Leviathans have been found to measure from 67 meters long as juveniles to up to 107 meters as adults living inside the crater, while adults living on the crater's edge have been found to be 15% larger than their crater living companions. And the PDA suggests that the species is approaching the size limit for organic life forms on the planet. On 4546B today, three ghost leviathan juveniles can be found within the Lost River, and a further three adults can be found spread between the Grand Reef and the Blood Kelp Zone. It's unknown how how many ghost leviathans reside in the void, although up to three have been found to attack anyone who ventures too far over the crater's edge. This early concept art appears to have inspired the ghost leviathan's final design, even if it does look a little bit like Sid from Ice Age. Now while we're on the subject of ghosts, this creature is definitely dead right? It's not going to come back as a spirit and eat you is it? If you want to be sure, you'll have to watch this video next where we will dig up the secrets of Subnautica's fossils. And special thanks to my patrons, Rowan Thane and Asmodeus.